Indiana Jones and the Lost Ark untold story of American fortune hunters deadly Cold War battle with Soviet spies to recover ancient shrine that contained St. John the Baptist's bonies. Shrine of St. Morris was hidden under floor of Castle Chapel at end of we after family were driven from Czechoslovakia for being Nazi collaborators. American fortune hunter Danny Douglas teamed up with the noble family to recover it from under the noses of Soviet spies during height of Cold War. Led to tense game of cat and mouse in which spies threatened to kidnap him or blackmail him by seducing him with good-looking female agent. In the end, a slip of the tongue led to Czech secret police finding the Ark. It's a tale of mystery and intrigue, which includes an American fortune hunter, a hidden sacred holy treasure, Cold War spies and the Nazis. If it were fiction it could even pass as the plot of a new Indiana Jones movie. But the discovery of the lost shrine of St. Morris in the Czech Republic is a true story. The Shrine said to contain the bones of St. John the Baptist and three others of Christianity's holiest figures, disappeared without trace as World War II was in its final throes. Painstakingly crafted in silver plate and encrusted with jewels, it was made around 1225 to house sacred relics, and although officially listed as belonging to Belgium, it had been taken secretly to Castle Bukov in Bohemia in the 1880s. There it lay under custodianship of the noble Beaufort Spontin family, the guardians and protectors of the Ark until the end of the war when it was carefully hidden under the chapel floor to prevent it being looted by Soviet forces. The family who had been its guardians for centuries were forced out of the country after being branded Nazi sympathizers. For years the family, who knew where the ancient relic was buried, plotted to regain one of Belgium's most priceless historical treasures. It was in 1984, when US President Ronald Reagan was railing against the Red Scare and the Kremlin had tightened its grip on Eastern Europe even further, that Danny Douglas, an American with a sense of adventure, became a central character of this intrigue. Douglas, a well-connected businessman in Viennese society, would eventually team up with a member of the Beaufort Spontin family to mount the secret mission to recover the Ark. In the following months Douglas was to be plunged into a tense game of cat and mouse with the Czech authorities. And as we shall see, it was a game that he lost to Frontais Kmierska, Czechoslovakia's head of the secret police, by only a whisker. Douglas was born in Berlin in 1939 to a Jewish mother and an American father. As war broke out, his family managed to escape to London, but Douglas' father and entire extended Jewish family died during the war. Nine years later, he lost his mother in a plane crash and was left orphaned and alone at age 11. He was taken in by an Austrian nanny and friend of his mother's, who brought him with her back to poor post-war Vienna, a young, lonely boy who fitted in poorly and dreamed of larger things in life. Those dreams took him first to America, and then right back to Europe as an enlisted man with the U.S. Army based in Berlin. It was here, while working as an interpreter, that he incidentally stumbled upon an antique chaffron in the house of a priest. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.